Let's get this party started. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is day two of tutorial week here on my channel. And today's look is inspired by one of my fellow Rebel Rouge Labs Rebels. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, a plus size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below in my playlist that you could check out. Also, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button to join the fam and hit that notification bell. Therefore, you know when I'm posting, even though I mainly post on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, give this video a like while you're at it. So, you guys are really excited for this week. I am just, like, blown away by the amount of love that you guys gave me for yesterday's video. I, I was just, like, I didn't know how you guys would take it. But you guys seem to, like, really love it and are really excited for what I have left and planned for the rest of this week. It's going to be a really good week. I, I, I'm stoked. <laughs> Today's makeup look is brought to you by one of my fellow Rebel Rouge Labs Rebels, and her name is Darissa Rain. Um, I do believe that's how you say her middle name. I don't know. Don't come for me. Ah! <laughs> she also goes by Riri, which is probably what I'll call her the rest of the video. And she brought me back to my getting back into makeup days four years ago. Can you believe this channel is four years old? Wow. <laughs> when I used to do halo eyes all the time. And this video that I'm going to show you and do the tutorial on was back in December of 2019, I do believe. December 19th, yeah, I have it in my notes. December 19th, 2019, and it is more of a Christmassy type of video. And what great time to do a Christmas look than Christmas in July. I'm just saying. <laughs> A little unknown fact about Riri, and I've never even told her this, she was actually the person who inspired me to start saying plus size beauty in my intro in my videos. Um, she is also a fellow plus size beauty and her, just her presence and the way that she uplifts people just really inspired me to be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm a plus size beauty too. So I ended up started saying, I'm a plus size beauty in my intro because of her. She does have a channel here on YouTube and she has 1.1 thousand subscribers and a page on Instagram where she has 1600 um, followers. I will put her information down in the description box and in my comment section I will pin it so you guys can subscribe to her channel and give her a follow on Instagram. I did forget to mention before we get into it that she is using two different palettes today and I do have both of them and they are both from Rebel Rouge Labs. They are the Losing My Religion palette which you guys know I love this palette and the Suspended in Dusk palette. This was a limited edition palette. I do believe this was only available for like a month um, but she does use a combination of these two palettes to make this look. So let's just go ahead and get it started. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what we got going. Hey beauties, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Riri, and I love Christmas carols. I love how she says like a little tidbit um, of herself in the beginning of her videos. I love it. They just are so nostalgic for me. Um, like I have said many times, we grew up very, very poor. There were times that we didn't have Christmas. Um, my mom would, uh, it makes me emotional to think about stuff like that, but like my mom would just go through her stuff, her own personal stuff, and like wrap her things, pieces of jewelry and stuff like that, or a stuffed animal that maybe she had, so, like, I, I don't know, I, I just feel like the music just soothes my soul. Um, I wanted to do a okay. holiday look, but I would normally pair this with a bold red lip. Ooh, we're not doing a red lip. So, I'm not going to do that part of it, I'm just going to do a nude of course um anyways <clears throat> so today i'm going to do just like a really pretty i'm aiming for green on green on green 
Maybe a pop of gold. We should I'm all for it. Um, <laughs> I'm using two of my Rebel Rouge Labs palettes. Um, I will definitely be using these suspended and dust palettes. You guys did see some swatches. I do have that palette with me. So this one on the leads. And then you guys saw swatches and a full look on this one right here. I do have and that one. I She's talking about the... Um, losing my religion palette. All right, let's see what we're going with first. And I'm first going to go into the losing my religion palette. Okay. Into the shade Doll Parts. I have spoken about this shadow. I don't know that you guys are going to be able to tell, but it's already getting like a little divot in it. <laughs> so I'm going to go into Doll Parts, and this is a Morphe Jeffree Star JS. I don't have that brush. So lightly tap it on just into the crease and i'm not aiming to build this color up at all okay so she went into the losing my religion palette and in the shade doll parts which is this shade right here she basically set that down as like her transition color but she's not going to build it up she's just going to put a light layer down so that's what i'm going to do um, I don't have that brush because you guys know I don't use Morphe brushes. So I am going to use the BH Cosmetics number no. 7 brush from the Midnight Festival um, collection. All right, got that down. Um, she did go in with a more fluffier brush and just diffused the shade. Um, she had a big e.l.f. brush. I used the Farrah brush, the 35E tempered blending, and just went in and just, you know, lightened that up a little bit. So let's see what we got next. I'm now going into that Alana right here. Okay. Um, I've done them, but um, I had an entire list. Day one was gonna be this video, day two, day three, day four, <laughs> and um, just hasn't happened that way. Um, I can totally relate. Thing? Now it looks like what she's doing is she took the shade Catalano in the Losing My Religion palette and she's blending that into the crease and a little up into the um, doll parts shade. So that's what we're going for that. I am going to use the BH Cosmetics number no. nine brush. I love this brush set. This brush set is really, really nice. All right, we have Catalano down. Now let's see what we have going on next. So I'm done in this palette for now, so we're going to lose. <laughs> we're going to lose <laughs> All right, we're going out of and losing my religion. Suspended in this palette, and I'm going to go into Vinland, which is like this pretty kind of puncher green. Okay. And I'm going to go into a slightly more fluffy brush now, not one that's quite so um, dense. Okay. And don't worry about things not being blended out. I'm not worried about blending anything right now. I'm taking okay. this and going right on top of this and kind of softly starting to diffuse just on the little bottom area with this shade. Okay. All right, so what we're doing now is we are going to go into the Suspended in Dusk palette. Unfortunately, this palette is no longer available, but I'm sure you could probably find palettes in there with these types of shades. Um, we are going to go into Vinland and we are basically going to start blending the bottom because we are doing a halo eye. Yeah, we're going to start blending the bottom, making everything, making the green pop out and come to life. And I am going to do that using the AOA Studio E130 brush from the Paw Paw Charity Program collection. All right, this is what we got going on right now. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but there's always a method to the madness. Um, regardless who you're watching, you guys should know that. This is a re and this is what I said yesterday. So the reason why I really like doing this is because I get to, to try out different techniques and see how people make their looks. I am so sorry that my lighting is so weird. Ugh, it just, yeah, but... I have to have my laptop here so I can see what it is I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see what we're doing next. <laughs> I'm gonna go into a super fluffy brush now. Okay. And I'm gonna go into Electrocute and Hey Peter. Alrighty. More like limey tones. 
and I'm gonna very, very, very softly mix both of these, and I'm coming right on top of that dark green. Onion. What she is doing is she is now taking, she's combining these two shades right here, Electrocute and Hey Peter, and we're going to blend that on top of the green. So let me find a brush to do that with. I think I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics V5 Vegan Blending Brush. I love this brush. I have like six of these bad boys. That's how much I like them. All right, we have that down and it did kind of bring everything together, give it a little bit more of an oomph. So let's get into what we are going to do next. Um, I'm gonna go into Green Man, which is a very deep color, but has like a slight metallic sheen to it. Okay. And I'm going in with this little teeny tiny, I'm pretty sure these are Luxie brushes. Really I have that brush. I think everybody got those Luxie brushes. Brush. And I'm gonna come right underneath the lash line again with this one. And because the light's going to catch this in a little bit of a different way. Okay. I'm going to put it over here with that mat. And I just think it's going to be really, really, really pretty. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take Green Man, which is this shade right here, and we are going to stick that closer in the lower lash line. She used a Luxie brush for that. I am actually going to use my AOA Studio E115 brush, this brush right here, you guys know I use this all the time when I'm doing my lower lash line, and I'm going to put it up a little bit on the outer corner as well, because that's what she is doing. All right, we are nice and green right now. Um, let's see what we got going on next. <laughs> so I'm going to go right here into Chair Brock, and you guys know I always just use my finger. And then I will take a flat brush and just kind of push it out. <laughs> Alright, well now we are going into the shade Cherub Brock in the Losing My Religion palette, which is this gold shade right here, and we are going to press that in the middle where the halo is. Hey guys, editing Melissa here. As I am editing today's video, I realized that I only skipped not one step, but I skipped two steps. So yeah, I'm completely awesome like that. <laughs> um, but I am going to link her video down in the description box and in my comment um, so you can see the full tutorial. They're just little steps that um, just kind of add more definition to the look. So yeah, back to the video. Whew, that gold is like, bam! Now I see why she picked it. <laughs> All right, let's keep on rolling. No additional product. I'm just gonna reinforce the darkness on this side. Ooh, okay. And I think this time I am gonna wet a brush, a little flat brush, and I'm gonna go to the opposite side okay. of the green app. I'm actually looking at two things here. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually going to skip that step because the way it looks on my eyes, it is already intense enough. But what she did first is she took the brush that she put Vinlin on and didn't put any extra product on it and just kind of reinforce the outer edges. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I have that reinforced. It's looking pretty good. Let's see what we got next. I'm gonna go back into this brush and put it on my little color switch thing. Um, these are way cheaper than the color switch. It's the little brush cleaners from um, the crown case, they're five bucks. <laughs> And as you can see, they work beautifully. I'm going to wet this brush <laughs> as well. Okay. I'm going to go back into Cherub Rock. I just don't want to do, especially doing the gold and the green together, I don't want to do anything too icy in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pop it. 
Okay. She cleaned off her, um, what brushes? L Luxie brush. Um, I'm just going to use a different brush and go into Sherbrooke and wet my brush like she did. I'm going to use Urban Decay's All Nighter. This is my favorite spray to make your metallic shades pop even more. All right, we got that down. Let's see what she does next. Okay, so I'm fine with where the eyes are at. Um, I am going to go into another palette. Um, by the way, love. Um, I think I'm just going to go into the Hourglass palette because I don't want something too shimmery because all the gold. And use okay. just a little powder from this. This one right here to do my brow bone with. And I just forgot to set that brush out. My apologies. Okay, so she took a setting powder from her um, Hourglass palette. I do not have that Hourglass palette. So what I'm going to use is the, if I can get it out, the Jaclyn Hill um, Luminous Setting Powder in Do Me. And I'm going to put that on my inner, I mean, on my brow bone. All right, this is what we got going on. Now we are going to see what she uses as far as mascara and in her waterline and if she uses eyeliner or eyeliner on top of her lid. Um, I'm pretty sure she doesn't use falsies. So I'm going to put them on anyways because y'all know I would feel naked without them now that I actually wear them. And I will feel naked if I don't have liner on my lid. So yeah. Um, I just ordered a full size of the NYX one that's supposed to be like this. I'm hoping I like it as much. This is the second or third little mini one I've gone through. And I love it. And I mean, like, it sticks. It sticks in the waterline all day. I don't have any irritation okay. or anything, which is the main reason I don't ever, 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 ever wear liners. Alright, I do not have that liner. I'm not a big fan of putting, like, white or nude color liner in my waterline y'all know i like to do color or i will do a black or i'll do a brown i may do a brown liner because of the colors i got going on especially with the gold so i may do a brown liner with this look but it just opens the eyes it's such a really beautiful i love it and i'm gonna go into the illa mascara <laughs> mascara. I do have that mascara and I am going to use it. Um, the mascara that she that we're talking about is the Il Maquillage Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara in Black. I am going to use that instead of my Man Eater. Um, I'm going to put my Scarlet's on and I am going to put some liner on, pretty much finish up the rest of this look and I will be right back. And this is the completed look. I really do think that once I was able to put lashes on, do liner, it just brought everything together and it brought me back to when I first started getting into makeup again. I used to do halo eyes all the time. I haven't done a halo eye in a hot minute. I may have to incorporate incorporate more into my makeup looks so yeah um she did use um for her lips a combination of the laura lee los angeles i do believe it was called jaybird liquid lipstick and the rebel rouge labs uh immortal matte and flesh i do have the immortal matte and flesh but i don't have the jaybird shade so the closest thing i had to it was the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte in the shade Invasion. So I put that down first and then I took flesh and gave it a little ombre look. But I also lined my lips with the Gerard, Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Ecstasy as well. And I, I really do like this. It's really nice. It's different and it's festive. If you're looking for a 
Christmas in July look. <laughs> I want to thank Riri for allowing me to recreate this look. Um, I will put her information down in the description box and in the comment section, I will pin it so you can give her a follow on Instagram and you can subscri subscribe to her YouTube channel. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget all my social media handles will be down in the description box. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you happen to see one with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also, I will list all the rest of the products I use for this makeup look today in the description box as well. I love you all so much and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Ooh. That gold is just like BAM! <laughs> At least my hair's not on the struggle bus today. It's a good thing. Wah. Wah. Ooh, look at that highlight. Mm, yes. <laughs>